everyone and welcome to today's latest mix set video for Monster Hunter World. Today's set is going to be focused around the Wraith of Predation Dual Blades and creating a high damage critical set that would be perfect for fast hitting DPS and a complete shredder to those that are unfortunately getting your way. So the Wraith of Predation is a rare T7 Dual Blade which comes in with attack value of 308, minus 20 affinity, 180 dragon with high elder seal and average sharpness which can reach white with handicraft. It also has a true raw value of 220, making this a very hard hitting pair of dual blades to boot for any players that decide to invest in its damage. Now these pair of dual blades are very worth the grind for not only its damage but looks as well, looking more like a pair of meat claws rather than a standard pair of dual blades. Now as the damage for the weapon is overall great for a pair of dual blades, it comes with the downside of having minus 20 affinity, which to most players isn't a bad thing if you have the necessary jewels or skills to negate it. For players that just started higher rank, this may be a problem as you won't have all the necessary skills to help negate it as much as possible, which makes fully optimizing around it even more harder. As even having the Dragon King eye patch for it at weak point 2 or even at max, it can only get you so far. It can help, but only so far. However, thankfully this isn't the end of the world, as all of this is made up with the higher damage, raw damage and the ability to hit white sharpness, which for those that don't know is a 1.32 multiplier, I believe, to your base damage. So even if you're not using any affinity skills to negate the minus affinity that the weapon possesses, you're still going to be doing good to average amount of damage overall, although you'll probably want to be hitting harder rather than lighter. So alternatively, if you don't have the necessary skills to negate his minus affinity, but you want something ideally similar to the weapon, then I suggest the Decimation Claws, which is also a high-end looked upon pair of dual blades that are very similar in terms of damage and overall sharpness, but more user-friendly in terms of optimizing skill based around it. Now the Decimation Claws dual blades are a rarity 8 weapon, which comes in with an attack value of 294, 1 level 1 dual slot, max up blue sharpness so you'll never need to use handicraft, 120 dragon with a high elder seal as well, and it has a true raw coming out at 210, which is 10 less than Delge or Jewel Blades, but this shouldn't really affect your damage that much. Now as this set is designed around end game, and the Wraith of Petition Jewel Blades I have completely negated the minus affinity and more, I can see this not being fully ideal for most players that don't have the necessary skills to, to negate the minus affinity that the weapon has, which sadly makes it quite a turn off for most new players. Which is why I gave you the Decimation Claws as an alternative weapon to use, because of its similar stats, damage and relatively similar sharpness. Plus, it's less focused on the necessary skills to actually make it work. So it's a lot more forgiving to use the Decimation Claws, if you have it, rather than using the Devil Joe Jewel Blades. But if you still want to go with the Devil Joe Jewel Blades, then keep listening because i got a ideal set for you. So today's set will be maximizing the Jewel Blades wall damage by negating the negative affinity fully and then retaining it so we can keep our damage consistent throughout the hunt. So firstly, we have critical i5 to help negate the minus affinity our weapon has and to also increase the weapon's base critical chance for extra damage along the way. Stun resistant 3 to help with preventing us from being dazed when attacked by a monster multiple times. Um, this is ideal for dual bay users, considering that you're going to be running out of stamina at times and won't have enough time to react and to potentially dodge a monster. So if you were going to use this against Diablos for example, if you use up all your stamina, there's a chance that Diablos could basically knock you over multiple times and if you don't have this skill active basically puts you into a rough situation where Diablos can one shot you but with the skill now not only if you do get hit and get knocked down you do recharge your stamina which basically means that when you do get back up again you can then quickly run off and go heal so it's basically giving you a chance to I guess prepare you for when you do get knocked down you won't be put into a tough situation where you can't react but it's kind of up to you to still dodge. Next we have Dragon Attack 3 to increase our weapon's dragon element, but to also use the Valhata gloves for the extra jewel slots. Critical Boost 3 to increase our critical multiplier chance, and is only worth for using weapons that have over 50% affinity, which is what we currently have. Next we have Weakness Exploit 3 for the plus 50% affinity upon monsters weak points, Handicraft 3 to increase our weapon's sharpness into white, Health Boost 2 which is from the Empress boots and gives us extra health, Protective Polish to allow us to sharpen our weapon and retain sharpness for a minute, which is ideal for a dual blade or fast hitting weapons that burn through sharpness quickly. And lastly, Power Prolonger 1, which is from the Dratium Waste and is beneficial skill for dual blades, but is better when at least maxed out. Overall, this set should give you 329 attack, which equates to 235 true war, 417 defense, 60% affinity, near maxed out sharpness, and a genuine powerful endgame set.
I want to augment more weapon for affinity and health since that seemed like a perfect combo for end game. But I would also say that having a attack og is also worth using, or another affinity og since you increase your damage but by a small bit, and also negate the minus affinity when using a second affinity og as it only takes 5% away rather than 10%. So it's kind of up to you depending on how you build your set, but I would say that if you're going to swap for health og, best choice is probably go with attack since it gives you a small but prominent amount of increase in damage. Now these dual blades are considered one of the best high end dual blades in game, currently for its high raw white sharpness and something that not many dual blades can achieve. In terms of crafting set around it, you have two options. You can either go all out raw damage, focus since the weapon already has high damage, or you can go elemental focus instead to focus around balancing both your raw and element in one. Even when you go for, we'll require you to fully optimize around this area if you want to make a difference in terms of damage. Most players will say going fully elemental with Wrath 2 piece set is more worthwhile since the base raw is high and the elemental can be increased to do more damage than normal. However, I feel that the weapon's elemental is quite or relatively low and not something you have to fully invest if you want a damage difference. Although don't let that change your opinion on trying it out because either way you look at it, it's still going to be quite a large damage increase whether you go just pure focus on raw or whether you're going to focus on a bit of high raw and high elemental using a Wrath 2 piece bonus. It's really up to you to experiment with this as it can go either way you look at it. To be quite honest, this set could actually be a lot more powerful if I max out my critical eye so I can gain more affinity and then with an attack og to increase a weapon's attack by a small, a small bit. But for what we currently have, it's pretty good since the damage is pretty great overall. You don't need to increase it anymore but if you want to, this is just a few ideas I can chuck out for you. Now using this on monsters weak to dragon and another weak point, my damage varies from around 20 plus to 50 plus. So you can get a lot of damage out of this when you play your cards right. I may notice a higher damage output when I do a full demon dance, but it's recommended you don't spam this all the time as this will lock you into a animation, to which the monster, if they get up or dodge your attack, can make you regret it. But thankfully that's also why I max out my sun resistance in case such a situation occurs. It's just that you don't want to make too overall use of it because if you abuse it too much, you'll get too cocky and greedy and it then lends you getting card a lot of times because you don't know when to stop. But generally, there you have it, a high-end dual blade set that is perfect for ending content users. You want to give these dual blades or alternative a try with something worth fighting for. So if you enjoy the content, then do leave a like, a sub and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload. As well, I appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.